scrims. We could discuss sure. how scrims work. It's a weave of fabric that has a lot of holes in it, basically. It's a, it's a very loose weave so that you can see through it when lights are behind it. It comes in generally a white or off-white color, so you can paint it to be anything that you want. Um, and then it just has these nice lighting possibilities because if you light it from a certain angle, as I said, it appears opaque. You see mainly its front surface. If you put lights behind it, you can see through it. In the memory areas, the way we've, we decided in our meeting to handle those is that they take place on the sides of the hotel room. So at some point the actor will simply step down and go to the memory areas or he might be talking to someone while he's in the hotel room. He might be talking to someone who is in the memory area. And we had a question of what defines that. So there, is, there are small backdrops on either side and they are made of scrim and they are painted with, a, which, with what are called arabesque patterns. They're ornate geometric patterns. Most people would be familiar with them from Persian rugs, but they're also in traditional architecture in Islamic countries. And those are scrims because at a certain point we need to reveal two statues, one on each side of the stage behind the scrim. Uh, the statues are Inanna, who is an ancient Mesop Mesopotamian goddess. The way you do a scrim reveal is when the scrim is lighted from the front, it appears relatively opaque. And in this case, we have black curtains behind it to make sure that they do. When we're ready for the scrim reveal, we move the curtain and we try to do that in a light cue so you can't see it go and place the statue behind the scrim and then lights come up behind the scrim. And the scrim fabric is such that when you light behind it, it's transparent and you will see the statue behind it. We also may use this to reveal people behind it. I'm not quite sure how the director is thinking about that at this point.